Restricting the consumption of a specific amino acid extended the life of mice by 33%. In new research, scientists have shown that limiting the consumption of isoleucine slows the effects of aging and extends the lifespan of mice by up to 33%. Moreover, rodents on a diet without this amino acid lost weight and showed better health. It is currently unclear whether this approach could also be beneficial in humans. In new research, Scientists from the University of Wisconsin have shown that limiting the consumption of isoleucine, an amino acid found in almost every protein, can extend the life of mice by up to 33%. Additionally, the tested mice were slimmer, healthier, had no problems with cancer or prostate, and consumed more calories. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Cell Metabolism. A few years ago, scientists from the University of Wisconsin conducted a health study among Wisconsin residents, which showed that the level of isoleucine in the diet is related to metabolic health. Analyzing the collected data, Scientists also noticed that people with higher body mass indexes tend to consume more isoleucine. We like to say that a calorie is not just a calorie, said Professor Dudley Lamming of the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health. Different components of the diet have different value and impact beyond the function of calories. We delved into one ingredient that many people may be consuming too much of, he added. Isoleucine is one of the three branched chain amino acids. It takes part in the construction of proteins in our body. It is essential for our survival. It is an exogenous amino acid, which means that it is not synthesized in the human body and must be supplied with food, eggs, dairy products or meat. Researchers decided to check the health effects of consuming isoleucine. Lamming invited scientists from various disciplines to cooperate. In the experiments, they divided the mice into two groups. They fed one a diet containing 20 common amino acids. The second group was on a diet in which all amino acids were reduced by approximately two-thirds or on a diet in which only isoleucine was reduced by two-thirds. At the start of the study, the mice were about six months old, which is the age of about a 30-year-old person. They could eat as much as they wanted, but only from the specific type of food provided to their group. We very quickly observed that mice on the low isoleucine diet lost weight, their bodies became leaner, they lost fat, Lamming admitted. Mice on the low total amino acid diet also became leaner at first, but eventually regained weight and fat. Reducing isoleucine in the diet extended the lives of mice, improved their health and allowed them to reduce weight. The lifespan of males increased by 33% compared to males in the control group where isoleucine was not limited. Females lived on average 7% longer. Based on 26 health indicators ranging from muscle strength and endurance to blood sugar levels, tail use and even hair loss. Mice on the low isoleucine diet were in significantly better shape for longer. Moreover, male mice in the isoleucine restricted chow group had less age-related prostatic hyperplasia and were less likely to develop cancers, which are common in mice. But that's not the end. Rodents in this group also ate significantly more calories compared to other mice, possibly trying to compensate for their lower isoleucine intake. But instead of gaining weight, they burned more energy and maintained less body weight, even though their activity levels were the same as others. Previous studies have shown an increase in life expectancy when following low-calorie or low-protein diets. These studies were conducted on very young mice, admitted Lamming. We started with mice that were already older. 
It's interesting and encouraging that changing your diet can still have such a big impact on your lifespan and what we call health span, even if you start doing it closer to midlife, he added. Scientists believe that reducing isoleucine in humans through diet or pharmaceuticals could potentially produce similar effects. However, as with all mouse studies, we won't know for sure until the method is actually tested in humans. But it's easier said than done. The study authors admitted that diet is an extremely complex reaction and other dietary components may be involved in the results obtained. Reducing protein intake has harmful effects on the body, both mice and humans.